What is going on guys? It's your boy Jim. I'm back with a brand new episode of the council. Here we go. So we just talked to Elizabeth last episode. Found her dark things about her mother. Um, his mother that he... We don't know if they're true or not. Which I would guess since she in detail explained it all. They probably are true. Um, and our mother has a darker past than usual. Or, or than we know of. But it'll be interesting to see what we can find in the book. And, and I'm learning that the skills that I don't have are screwing me over. It really is. Keep it rolling. That darn nice dinner. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet. Allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? And you, sir? Thank you again for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. Please. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Exactly. Such complexity. Oh, political skill. Oh, that's why. A Soudan, isn't it? Absolutely. I don't have it. I'm just not realizing I'm missing mistaken, stuff because I don't have this skills. This is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule, but I count on your discretion. <laughs> don't worry. I appreciate the same grape variety. Oh, I have a mass of turkey right in front of me. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through huh? Emily's hard shell. <laughs> Is everything Psychology. all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. <laughs> My lord, I... Only know the prestige of your name. Might I have the honor of getting to know you a little better? You are Monsieur Louis Moras de Richet. De Richet. De Richet. A name with a nobiliary particle. Are you descended from a noble line? I am just a simple French citizen. <laughs> really? Oh, you seem nothing like a commoner. <laughs> Especially compared to that wretch over there sharing our meal. Mm. <laughs> Have you any information on this Napoleon? Of course. He's certainly well connected and 
in high places. Surprising. No one appears to know him. And you, sir? No one knows me, <laughs> and yet here I am. Quite so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, conviction. Monsieur de Richet, it would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? <laughs> and they just walk just a few feet beyond the table. That is a view, though. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for All right. you. The a agreement confidence. stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'Or for 200 cannon. Um. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you ought to speak to my mother. Oh, what a pity. I was hoping you would be up to the challenge. Too bad. I have one last question I would like oh, to pose no. to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Uh, hmm. The revolution was a good thing, but it gave birth to a monster. We must overthrow the new system in place. Ah, you are right. Uh, okay, Ooh. okay. Monsieur de Richer, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would ah. like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Monsieur Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. Interesting, all right. I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> The last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. That looks like Craig right. tell you what was all the... meet uh... again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. I feel like it's gonna be like channel three, yeah.
could have searched Napoleon's room. I could have searched Elizabeth Adams' room. Well, if I don't have keys and can't unlock stuff, I cannot. Here we go. Maybe we'll get to level four. Yes, we will. Oh my goodness. All right, we have four more. So what do I keep seeing? That one keeps continuing to pop up. And we'll rock the etiquette one. Don't. Ten points left before. See, I don't know what these do. So we have this one now, which is actually kind of nice. Started and we have the etiquette one just because it seems useful. Talent unlocked. Talents? What are these talents? I don't know what they are. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Portrait gallery. Alan. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, experience. Interesting. Is this... Okay. Lift. Keep going with this one. I gotta find that portrait gallery. I'm not gonna view. On the table now. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Waldner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. To tell you the truth, not really. Ah. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis. See, that's what I was thinking. But it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. <laughs> see you later, my son. Another box. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Oh, is this... Space left. I'll retrieve it later. All right, I've retrieved everything. 
Must have been only one in there, apparently. I picked up some of them, not all of them. Whoa, that's a freaking library. Atreus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. There's another jelly there. by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, that's called a cache. Oh, another looks like page in the encyclopedia. Why do I feel like the Last Supper is going to be the most important one of them all? I could be wrong, but dang, they need lots of painting. Usually when you... Eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Allegory regarding the Declaration of the Rights of Men. That's the least you could say. I just want to see what he has to say about all the paintings, honestly. Liberty or Death by Regnault. Well, I'll take Liberty, please. But I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Ah, a painting by Ingres. Molière, dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Celia, that name means nothing to me. <laughs> Celia it means absolutely nothing. I get up because I don't. A coin. I don't know what these coins all do. What guy said I could go out? I can't remember. Like outside. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't access the garden. Christ crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there, reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Alquidia. The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, François Premier, Receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. A fragment of amber. I don't remember what the amber fragment is. Uh, the Fall of Phaeton, another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. No. I can, oh, I can't go out that door. Okay. The Company by Rembrandt. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe Sank. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. I mean, I don't know how this dude can tell. He's just fond of it. But Wonder Gallery has a lot to offer. Back on here. Love me. Get any of these? You down there? No. The 
Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Doesn't you just look in the other way? I can't remember how it goes. Where are you gonna be in here? Do something. No, I can't look at that one. Press. I like some Volta there. A painting with no name. Looks like it looks like the man Volta there. That is a Medusa. Devil's thorn. I'll keep it. Wanna go a little bit more here? Honey. I couldn't have hoped uh, for better. Dialogue timer is no longer visible. Okay. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Okay. Nice. So I can't see the dialogue timer, which is fine. That is a Medusa. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. We gotta turn them? I guess they're all going to need to be turned towards him. Mechanism. They take. They take three. I don't want to burn. Uh, so this one can't go towards Medusa or the Atlas. That doesn't do. It. Okay. So basically, it's just for all these combinations. The origin of myths, a reinterpretation yeah. of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. So the sword has to be aimed at Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, 
The Gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. So. Oh. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. So. Hmm. This guy can't face. So. Where's he face? darker on the right hand side it must be often placed towards the fire which would explain the difference in color in that case it would be facing the medusa perfect for the coup de gosse that one's good do i have to touch the medusa That would make the most sense. I could toward tor the dude. This is a tough puzzle. The fact that I screwed that up so bad earlier is really making this hard. Uh, let's do this. Problem is, do you hear click? What, what is it that you hear? I'm gonna have to. Handle the mechanism. Let's, we'll, we'll burn a few here. Hmm. The mechanism is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time, betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword. So I'm gonna guess this one faces the lantern. So that or the the uh, shield. So that one's good. This one probably faces. The lantern? Because we have two in place. Emily, you scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Oh, yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just, I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well, then we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louis? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? 
Yeah, run with the etiquette. Um, I'm gonna. I admit everything, madam. You win. I've been bitten by the same bug as you. I beg your pardon. We can't resist being where we shouldn't, seeking out our host's little secrets. So, we have that in common, right? I really thought you were going to answer me this time. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. <laughs> That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. Whatever that means. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. Mm. Kind of funny, actually. Hey. Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Oh, of course, that would have uh, stopped forever ago, you know? A Greek drachma. One of the rare ancient coins to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran. Why is she only looking at one spot and I've got to look at all of these? Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than <laughs> that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Do you know why laurel wreaths are used and not, say, mistletoe or another plant? The laurel wreath symbolized glory in Roman times. In your opinion, what kind would suit me best? Mm, a crown of nettles. Oh. Wow. See how it is. Oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Mm. Oh, what is it? You should see King the Arthur. sword, Emily. It's magnificent. King I'm Arthur's busy. Sword. Describe it to me. I think this is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet, you're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? You've been searching one thing, I don't want to hear it. My goodness. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Oh uh, yeah, I can analyze them for See a point, why not? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth <laughs> without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? 
And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know. I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Why keep such a collection hidden in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're not thieves. We're only looking. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you Darn, have come here for the right sole away. purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust oh, in boy, you? Oh boy, here we go. When are you going to understand? I got you. I just want to help you. <laughs> what do you expect? That I'll fall into your arms and say yes to everything you want? What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Uh. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help? Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! Huh. And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Oh boy, um... You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves and you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course. But what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Oh, it's crystal clear. You don't like people telling you what to do, and you do like giving the orders to everyone. If I were the matron you speak of, I would have found an underling to search this place, and I would be sound asleep in my bed. Mm. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Is it Come George? On. Don't stop now that you I come bet it's fall. George. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, uh. since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Oh, she's affected by the cameo. What's the camera? I think that's reasonable. Chances are, you're working with a member of the Order. The only members of the Order other than ourselves are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former has sadly gone missing. As for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. Incidentally, you must have noticed how inefficiently our order communicates internationally. Uh. 
I'm gonna your guess her must be your mother. I would need to know who she is first. Mm. Forgive me, I, I didn't know. I'm an orphan. I thought you'd figured that out. N no, I, I didn't know. Otherwise, I wouldn't have mentioned it. Now you know. She's an orphan. Her old husband. I don't know who her old husband is. So I'm gonna go with her sister. Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Oh, well. Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. You deserve to know why oh. the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister, Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Right. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from home, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry. Your secret is safe. Can I search the rest of the room, please? It's time to leave. wonder how it turns back. Read letters from, from or address to other guests to learn more about the motivations. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louie, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Mm. All right. I think I'll end it there because this has been a really long one. Didn't realize the time. Guys, hope you guys did enjoy. Wow, this is getting crazy. In... So we're going to go meet Emily, quote-unquote Emily in quotations, um, in the one room, in our back in our room, but we're going to go hang out with Elizabeth, see what she's been up to. Hopefully it's not something bad. If you guys did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe. I will talk to you guys later.